Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to create files in Salesforce using REST API. We may have requirements where may we where we may want to move uh, move files from uh, a different uh, source of application to Salesforce. Uh, so for that, we have inbuilt Salesforce APIs to create files directly in Salesforce. So in this video, we are going to see how to do that. The first step is create a connected app in Salesforce. So I created a connected app. I enabled OAuth and then I have set the OAuth scope to full access. And this is the callback URL. So my domain URL, my Salesforce domain URL slash services slash OAuth2 slash callback. So this is going to be my callback URL. Once you create the connected app, click manage consumer details so that you will get consumer key and consumer secret. So we need username, password, consumer key and consumer secret from this connected app to uh, get the token and the next step is to create a record in Salesforce to create a file. So the first step is done. We created a connected app. So for this demo, I'm going to use Postman uh, to send a request to Salesforce uh, to create files. So the first step I have done connected app. I know what is my consumer key and consumer secret. Um, and next I'm going to link the file to this account. So I will make a note of this account ID also. So the second step is we have to get access token to sales uh, access token from Salesforce. So for that do a post request to your domain URL slash services slash OAuth2 slash token. Since it's a post request in the body, we have to send username, password, client ID and client secret, consumer key and consumer secret from the connected app should be used here. And the grant type should be password. So once we do it, we will get the access token from Salesforce. So I got the access token from Salesforce. So I have a script which will pass this access token to a variable in my postman client. So, so this is where the access token is saved for me. Next step is we have to create content version record. So do a post record, post request to your my domain URL slash services slash data slash the version number slash s objects slash content version so to this endpoint you have to send a post request so that it will create a content version record once we create a content version record it will automatically create content document for us in salesforce so this is the header authorization should be bearer space the access token which we got it from the previous uh, call So next, uh, and the body should be title, path on client, content location. So content location is, yes means it will be stored in Salesforce. It is not an external reference. It will directly get stored in Salesforce. And version data should be base 64 content. This is very, very crucial and important part of this uh, demo. The version data cannot be a string. It should be base 64 content so if you are using uh, uh, any dot um, net java uh, node.js angular.js or anything make use of a library which will convert the string to base 64 uh, uh, content so this is a base 64 content uh, so for so for testing uh, keyword this is the base 64 content so i um, did the encoding already so I have the um, base 64 encoded value directly here so once we do a post request to content version endpoint it will create a content document to us so let's 
sorry content version and as well as content document okay it did create the content version and also it would have created the content document so in order to query the content document get this id do a SOQL in Salesforce to get the content document ID so we need content document ID from content version so I am passing where ID is equal to the ID of the content version which was created in the previous call so we have to do a get request to your domain URL slash services slash data slash uh, the version number slash query and you have to enter q is equal to that is the parameter you have to pass select what field from which object where conditions so i am using select content document id i need that from content version where id is equal to the id of the content version record which was created in the previous post request so let me get it so i got the content document id now I, I have content version I have content document now I want to link it to my account record so we need this account ID also so I'm going to create content document link record with content document ID from the previous get request and this is hard-coded account ID visibility all users I am setting it to all users so anyone can see it when they go to that account record so once I do this, okay, this is successful. So if I go to my account record, it should have created the file. So the file is created. So my base 64 content is converted into uh, the test, um, uh, the text value, and then it is displaying it on the file. So just a recap, create a connected app, do a token request, create content version record, get the content document ID from the content version, create a content document link record. For endpoint and body and for authorization and all information, please check the video description I will share my blog post in the blog post I have given all the information like endpoints step-by-step screenshots um, and other useful information so which can be used as a reference and then you can start creating files directly in Salesforce using standard REST APIs in Salesforce I hope it was helpful Thank you for watching.